Aloha and welcome to FL Studio. So this video is for people that have never used FL Studio before. Maybe you just started beat making, maybe you're just switching over to FL Studio for the first time. So I'm going to show you exactly all exactly what to do to make a beat and all the important features of FL Studio. So um, we're just going to keep it real quick and get straight to the straight to it. This is just what it takes. So if you left click, you're going to end up with a pattern here. Now in this pattern is where your sounds go. You've probably seen an FLP or something and there's a bunch of sounds on the playlist. So when you play through the playlist, you hit the play button, it'll play the sounds that are right here. And we're going to check out some, some other FLPs, some other uh, uh, projects I've worked on, and you'll, you'll, see, you'll see things in greater detail. But here's the pattern here. There's three important uh, areas of making a beat. There's the pattern, which you achieve that by clicking here. You could also hit F5 if you... But uh, that's a shortcut. And you can see the shortcuts in the upper left-hand corner up here. So this, this brings up the playlist. This brings up the piano roll. So this is where you edit the notes. This is where you edit the notes, the piano roll. This is the channel rack. So this is where you put place in all the sounds. So you notice it's a kick sound, right? Totally. And um, this is where you mix. So you probably heard of mixing. This is where like, notice how the kick is right there. And you also notice in the channel rack, it's one. So that's one. Now if I want to put two, that two is gonna pop. Three, so that's all those sounds. It goes in the mixer. And of course, this is the volume knob. This is the volume knob. Real simple stuff. And then here are our effects. So you can make an effect for the, um, say snare in this instance cool right so this that's a free love filter uh popular uh plugin okay so that's that's pretty much that i mean we, when you start off making a beat go to add and then look up look through the plugins there's only a handful of free ones that come with fo studio 20 um and the, with the producer edition i know that's gms dx10 citrus and simsynth so you can use all those for free. Um, so let's just pull up Citrus. Citrus I, I, is a great starter uh, VST because it has a lot of different sounds. So there's a lot of totally, a lot of different sounds. And when you're starting a beat, I recommend, and the great thing about beat making is, yes, you can make a beat however you want. So if you want to start with the hi-hats, you can start with the hi-hats. If you want to start with the snare, you start with snare. But me personally, I always start with the melody. So I, I just feel like that's that's kind of the way to go. In terms of equipment, what you need to make a beat, and uh, you you and in Citrus you you'll you notice these are organized by like what the sound is. So you see arp up here, bass, uh, guitar over here. Pick some guitar based. Now, now if you're gonna play something, so we already have this up. Say you want to play something. I recommend you you put beat here. I record all my melodies and pretty much almost the almost the entire track I record in with the beat on beat. Um, and th this is the metronome up here, so you can left click the metronome if you'd like. Now, if you don't have a piano keyboard, you can hit this right here, and it'll play on your piano key or your computer keyboard. But I'm going to use a piano keyboard. If you're interested in installing a USB piano keyboard you're gonna go to MIDI settings here and then uh, just select it this is actually probably one of the easiest things to do just select it enable and then um, that's, that's pretty much that link I put, I put these to none okay um, so if you're gonna play a sound you got this on you hit this and then click play it'll do a little, a little countdown this is to do a countdown this this option right here play two three go Come on, guys. And then say you want to edit. This is essential. So as you'll notice, like this is, you can see that it's just playing this. Say we want to just get rid of this first part. We're like, I don't like this part. I want the pattern better. You can hit hit this button right here and highlight everything, or you can hit Control. So I just hit Control, hit Delete, 
Now control A, and the, and the controls are a lot, they're very similar to like what they would be on like Microsoft Word or something like that. They, they're a lot of the same controls. Control C, Control V, delete, uh, scrolling goes up and down. Like a lot of this stuff is the same. Maybe I want this to be See how I did that now. <laughs> See how I just hit it and just played it in? Okay, that's that's something that you can do. Alright. Let's now let's get to the drum sounds. Um now it's I recommend putting up another playlist, but again, you can do this however you want. If you want to do the drums in the original channel rack, and, and this is again is the channel rack, you'll see this is where again all the sounds are. So you want to move that to five. And then where does that go in the mixer number five? So maybe it's too loud, turn it down. Okay. Um, also, if you want to turn it down, you, you, you should always try to turn the volume down in whatever you're using in the channel rack first. So here, I recommend using this first. This is the volume you should press down. But it's already down because it corresponds with uh, the mixer in this situation. But you can also turn it down here. Now every every sound like drum sound you want to use this interface. So you don't want to use VSTs, and this is again in my opinion because um, beat making literally is you can do whatever you want, which is the beauty of it because it is a creative art form. But I totally it's totally impractical in my opinion to use a VST to use drums. You use drum kits for for drums, and you want to use this interface every time, and you'll learn you'll learn to love this interface. So every single drum, like here's the kick, you notice here's the clap, same interface, and all of them have these three these three uh, levels. And don't get don't get too like um, overwhelmed with it. It's it's really not that complicated. Like this is pitching left ear, right ear. Um, that's important. I'm just pointing out the important ones. Normalize reversing. A lot of people like to use these effects. Probably heard like a reverse. You probably heard that using like a beat. Like like a, a lot of a lot of producers use that the out knob. Um, this is like tighten things up. See, so a lot of, a lot of people use those, especially for hi hats. Um, come over here. A lot of people it, like to use this effect, which is which is having like a manual um hold. Now this is kind of hard to use without an eight oh eight, but basically what it would do it. it it would hold it. It would be like, like as soon as you take your finger off it, it'll stop. It'll stop the uh, sound. All right. Now that's the best use with 808. It, it will we'll go to another beat. I'll show you another example of that. And this is the level adjustment. This is big too. This is like really the only thing I use on this page. Uh, this swinging over here. That's this. This stuff's pretty pretty dope too. But um, level adjustment is a big thing on that on that one and that's pretty much it for that interface and like if you get this interface that's half of making beats because half of making beats is drums is i mean more than half of making beats is drums really melody is only like a little uh probably like a third of it i would estimate at this point um third maybe a fourth uh some people might say half but again everybody makes beats differently really um in fact like I, the other guy on the channel he makes beats totally different from me but they both end up being pretty solid um now let's go to where do you get sounds? So you're gonna find them in this folder. And if you wanna place in your own drum kits, you'll see I have a lot of drum kits here. If you wanna place in your own drum kits, you could you just go to options, file settings. And yes, here's my thing on drum kits. If you just started to make beats and you're wondering whether it's, it's nece necessary or not, the answer is yes, you do need drum kits. Um, and a lot of them are free, so don't panic. You can get a lot of free drum kits. Uh, this, if you type in appreciation kit, download there's like three or four of them that are easy to download uh, there's always free kits everywhere pretty much but um as you grow as a producer you'll get more drum kits so don't, so don't worry about that but here you just click on uh, the location of where you saved your drum kit so i saved it in my music folder um here music drum kits lit right and you'll see the drum kits and i put the folder there so it just has all the drum kits. But if you're a first time user and you don't have any drum kits and you just want to continue this video, uh, also, you know, you don't necessarily need drum kits for the first couple times you make beats. I just suggest from day one, just know like there's synths and there's drum kits. 
There's VSTs and there's drum kits. You need VSTs are for the melodies, which I just showed you, and then you need drum kits for the drums, right? Uh, so over here, so again, we get there by clicking this button. So if you ever get confused, where did that menu go? This this menu is important too when it comes to making beats. I know I said there's there's uh, three key menus: this, the the playlist, the channel rack, and the mixer. Also, the piano roll is kind of like a sub. And this is kind of like a sub, if you will. So let me just make that clear. Um, I've never made a beat where I didn't use all, all of these menus at some point in time. So um, so we're here. You can go to drums. There's some drums in here too. Vintage. There's hip hop here as well, where if you're making hip hop beats. There's hi-hat here, so you can just slide it in there. You can also right click. This is a symbol. You can right click send i'm sorry open a new channel there you go now if you open a new channel uh it's going to open a new channel so it's not going to you're not going to overlap the sound sometimes i just drag it in there to get rid of like the sound that's already there so maybe get rid of this clap so i'm not going to use a clap snare snare and i'm just going to go over this menu quick i'm not going to sit here and make a make a whole beat but um, this is pretty much just wrapping up the video. And again, here, here's uh, the BPM up here. You can right click this and choose whatever BPM you want. Uh, that, that's just a style thing. So don't ask me what BPM I should use. Uh, I personally, I mean, if you're just starting off, probably don't pick one that's super fast, like anything above 140. Uh, but 130 is honestly considered pretty slow, but like that's a BPM I like working at. Well, it's not really considered slow, but... Um, it's just a BPM. I like working it. I I went a lot of different places. I went from 75 to 80. No, I went from 140 to 75 to 80 to like 110 and then 130 uh, in like the last year, year or two. So, I mean, it, it just depends on what, what the mood is. Sometimes you'll play a melody and it'll be too fast. But when I record, I always try to record on beat. And the reason I try to record on beat, and on beat is like... Dun, dun, off beat would be like if I was just like to where like it's not gonna pick it's not gonna save it it might sound cool but it's not gonna save it and I just do that because like hey like just make a melody on beat and like I swear like that's like a secret of melodies it's just like make it on beat and not only will it record right you don't have to edit it like it'll just already like it'll just sound right so um so let me get back to these drums and we'll make a quick little pattern and call it a video. So this is it, you know, maybe have the melody playing. This is the snare right here. So, you know, you just go like this. Boom. And I, and like I um, manually usually do all these instruments. Like I will play them. Clap. Boom, boom, clap, clap. And uh, that's basic beat making there, guys. Boom, boom, clap, clap. Now, again, if you don't like this kick, you can go right back into it. And this is a part of making beats, finding the right sound. Maybe I just like the latest one was hitting. Remember, come over here, maybe turn the volume. In. Now you got something serious. Do the same thing with the snare. And then here are the hi-hats here. And now just do a lazy hi-hat pattern. You could right click. You could fill each two or four. So maybe we'll do two. That's what that sounds like. You could like scroll over and it'll make like a... Alright guys, that's, that's pretty much that for this video. Um, I'm gonna show some more advanced. Uh, I'm gonna show some more advanced, like beats, so you can see what I'm talking about. In terms of, uh, I made this one yesterday, so like, hopefully this isn't trash, because like usually I need to at least look at a beat like two or three days before I determine if it's trash or not. And the great thing is, if you save, also man, I forgot to show how to save. If you save a beat, these are templates that I use too. I'll show you that. But if you save a beat. Um, like, I mean, obviously save a beat. It's just save as. You can just save it wherever you want. That that part is serious easy. You should be able to figure that out. But um.
this is a more advanced beat. You'll see like these are three different melodies right here, three different melody sounds. These are two more melody sounds. And like this is not it. And this is this is not don't get like totally overwhelmed by this. I you see how I also I play all the drums too. And there's lyrics here too. So like I record the vocals too. And if you want to learn how to record vocals, you just hit this right here. Bang. And then hit record. record. So recording, so recording vocals, vocals is easy too. Um, if you want to open a new template, new from template. This is the, f the free slime green template. And it's just like when it loads, it just automatically has like a lot of the stuff here. And um, I, I, may, I have some other videos on my channel about templates. I'm not going to like go through that. Uh, but like this is enough to get you going. And let me just play the beat. This is what I'm talking about. See, that's the snare right here. This is the kick pattern. I believe. Hi hat. And again, advanced video, but like. I'm just using a standard hi hat here. Standard hi hat. Easy stuff, really. When did you really start breaking it down? And this is just a kick. Boom. Clap. Boom, boom. And if I was better, I would tighten this up a little bit. So is this the 808 right here? This is the 808. 808, 808. And we'll do some editing in here. See what I'm talking about? So right now it's playing the kick. <laughs> See, I want to cut it. Say if I want to cut it right when the snare hits. Use this cut tool right here. So. Snap. Boom, boom. That one already does it. Boom. This one, I missed that all. So that's some cleaning right there. Where did this one hit? Let's see. Alright, I missed out on that. Alright, nice. Sorry, uh. Somebody tell me you can't do something. You either can't or you can. But it really don't matter what they say. Oh, oops. I meant to cut that part out. Those are like other lyrics. Don't get intimidated. 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 So that'll make your stuff bounce better. That's a little little, little, little secret. And I just save. Control S is also, like again, like a lot of the controls are the same as if you use a window, anything window. So Control O, what does that do? Control O will open another uh, FLP. So we'll go to this um, everything big one. This one's a little bit simpler of a beat. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, man. This is a lit video. I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to end it soon. But I'm just trying to show you as much about beat making as I can in like 20 minutes so so you can just like go back and like have fun. Also, it's like, like I said, man, number one thing is A, you know, everybody learns different. B, like listen to a lot of music and that'll do a lot of the work for you. Just listen to a lot of different artists, uh, especially in the genre that you want to make. And then um, C, like get a keyboard. And just start playing. Don't I, I don't I will make a stand because I know some people are like plug are all with plugging in chords and notes and all that. I personally think you should if you consider yourself a musician, you should learn how to play keyboard. I know how to play. I play guitar and I play keyboard. Like keyboard is easy. Like a three year old can do this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 I was supposed to happen, but uh, yeah, let's look at this beat. Now, this is just a chord, kind of like we did in the first beat. Hopefully, this doesn't start freezing on me, skipping on me, and I apologize if it does, but yeah, this is that. And uh, ooh, might have to cut this video short. Yeah, might have to cut this video short. This is a little beat too, but like hi hats, a little bit more erratic there, but not too crazy, you know, just da 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 da. You notice how I play? This is the snare right here, I believe. Just a simple snare. And also, like, something that I like to do is I, I try to make, like, really long patterns, and it's to make the beat more interesting. So you see these fours here, but this one's like an eight bar or 16. It's like a. So you see how like I did a full 16 on this. Yeah, that's okay. Like you can do that, and I think it's a good idea. 
Sorry, that was clipping. Let's let's do one more. How much time do I have? No, we ran out of time. Thank you guys for watching, guys. It's it's been so lit, man. I'm so happy with you guys. Uh, again, watch some of my other videos. You'll learn a little bit in every single video. I make a lot of beat videos in real time. You'll see I didn't edit this video at all. I make a lot in real time, so you can just see everything that happens. Because I always say, because like when you make a beat. And you want to really learn how to make a beat it's all the little tweaks i can't just skip to different parts it's all the little tweaks that make a beat great like there's so many different things you can add to a beat that's why no beat i've never made two beats that sound alike and i'm making it yeah so just imagine how different it is for everybody else you know i change a lot of colors here. if you want to do this change color stuff you don't It's been real, guys. Thanks. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace out.